Hey everyone, welcome back to another session with me. This is Sayukta Saxena. So this is the Assorted Tiles new series. Um, we have already created two uh, beautiful tiles. One was a coffee stain tile and another one was uh, we used a stencil to create uh, a beautiful background for a tile. Yes, today again we will be exploring a new idea. So I will be using some bit of acrylic colors today. Yeah. We will create an acrylic patch kind of a thing on our tile and then tangle in the rest of the space. We will not be working extensively with these colors. I will give you some very simple ideas how you can create a beautiful patch on your tile with these colors and then you tangle on the rest of the tile and it makes a beautiful piece. Yes, these are two examples. This is the same kind of thing that I've done on both the tiles, but I'll show you some more examples. So I have this plain tile with me. I'm just going to put a sheet of paper underneath and I have three acrylic colors. Well, you can use any colors. I have chosen some warm colors, red, orange and yellow. Yes, and they are a little thinner in consistency. Uh, they are basically meant for pouring. So I'll first give you a broad idea about how I created this thing. Yes, so I'm just going to give it a nice shake. And it is, as I mentioned, uh, these acrylic colors are of a thinner con uh, consistency. They are quite flowy and they are not very thick. So what I did was I just, you know, added some color like this, right? And then I took my orange, just give it a nice shake and then just added some bit of orange and then I use some yellow like this yes you can use any colors and then I have a spatula with me this kind of a spatula or you can use any kind of thing which you can use for spreading right it's not necessary to have this uh, in your kit and then I just did this nothing else Right. That's all I did. Now you can play around with it, create different kind of textures depending on what kind of thing you want. Yes. And this is what it is. So I let it dry up and, and it just, uh, you know, makes a beautiful texture. Now there are a couple of ways in which you can go about doing it. For example, you can just add three dots. So what I will do is start with my yellow and then add some orange and then add some red give it a nice shake yeah and then just use something like a toothpick or anything uh, you know that is available easily and then just give this rotate yeah, so this also makes a nice texture. And then red. And you can also blend it like this yeah the way we applied it so you can just use your spatula and blend it the way we applied it so you can get beautiful textures out of it so if you add it in a spiral you can also use your toothpick to create this kind of a circle you can create different kinds of textures like this it's just blending three colors with the help of a tool like a spatula you can blow the colors with your uh, blow dryer or with a straw or you can just use simple toothpick and create beautiful acrylic patch on your tile yes that's the whole idea so i have created this with my spatula it's just a portion colored with acrylic you will have to give it some time to dry up yes so it takes a little while to dry up you cannot tangle immediately on the tile but this looks really nice so let's get to tangling now i hope you got a broad idea as i showed to you i have two zendalas here 
both have the same kind of a texture a similar texture but this one I painted the rest of the section black or alternatively you can use a black tile and this is the usual white zendala so I will be tangling on the white I will post after tangling on this tile also on my Facebook and Insta but in this session we are going to be tangling on the white so pick any tangles that come to you easily again tangling is entirely what you want to tangle it's entirely your choice so let's get started let's uh, add some orbs here right so as I mentioned you will have to give it some time to dry up acrylic will take a little while to dry up especially if you have uh, put a thick layer So I have started with some bronx shears or caviars, whatever you want to call it. Using my black micron 01, you can use any other color you wish to. This is perfectly fine. small tiny spaces in between just ink it ideally after doing this patchwork on your tile leave the tile for a day and then tangle on the next day to avoid any chances of your acrylic getting spoiled yeah because my hand is still sticking here a little because I did it in the morning it's been four or five hours but still not enough now I'm going to add the tangled squid yes so I've started with the tangled squid and I'm going to ink just like marasu probably I'm going to ink alternate sections of these tentacles I'm using O1 you can always use a bolder nib again starting with the second one adding marasu like sections and then just like we do for marasu or a tangle called barber pole or BTL juice they are very close tangles very minor difference you can also add some bit of Zen like this slowly take your time Ideally, you should be tangling from this side. Avoid placing your hand much on the patch. I have done few of such tiles before, but I never recorded the video. It looks pretty dramatic. Adds really real beauty to your tile because acrylics have that shine they look bold glossy so adds a lot to the look of your tile yeah now let us add another layer so i'm going to cross over draw behind now Again, do the same exercise. Well, you can add any other pattern of your liking. This is just an idea. As I keep saying, always take a cue. 
make it your own do something different from what i am doing slowly take your time yes so let's add few more so i'm drawing behind now but not cutting lines anywhere So I'm going to add few more, slowly take your time. Like this. So I'm done drawing my squid and now I'm going to give a very crinky, all curled up outline. to my squid something like this yes and then add weights here and there and you know where I'm heading yes I'm going to convert it to a tangle called diva dance but we'll have some fun with diva dance we'll insert different kind of things in between as we draw our tangle So I've added some weights here and there. And now I'm going to aura it closely. Slowly take your time. Don't haste up. Yes, like this. So that was one layer. Now I'm going to add some more of bold inked sections. Maybe some bigger sections where we can add some other tangles like Knight's Bridge, like Mocha, like Printums. Yes. like this maybe one or two places we can add some printum sitting there ink this section you can add some mukas we'll do that as we proceed Adding some flux there. Let's now add another aura, close aura. Take everything along again. Add bold inked sections. You can add some orbs, some tipple. Yes. Again, going to aura. So take your time slowly. I'm doing the same tangle diva dance however I'm kind of building in interesting things in its various layers yes again you can add some nice orbs you 
can create sections where you add different kind of things add bold inked sections here and there as we generally do for diva dance again you can add probably some mukas and add some tiny little orbs here and there and go again add the aura if you want you can also switch pens change the colors in between yes you can do that also so I'm just going to add some simple lines with some weight at the end something like Senna again add some patches of bold ink sections like this yeah so let's go on like this continue keep building it interesting things in between again I've added a print term there you can add anything of your choice shapes flowers moons so I'm going to continue like this I hope you got a picture, broad picture of what I'm going to be doing in the rest of the tile. Again, create some random sections, add any tangle of your choice. Some printums there, some bit of tipples sitting here and there. and some weight slowly take your time and add some weight here yes so I'm going to be continue like this. Please draw at your own pace. Create random sections. They can be bigger. Add some nice bridge. Add any other tangle of your choice. Probably N Zeppel. we are building it tangles in between again you can add some nice orbs you can add tipple night's bridge whatever you feel like yeah Continuing in the same fashion, I've added some bunzos in between. Layering it. Taking it inside my aura. And then probably you can add some leaves. Anything you feel like. So these are some 
oak leaves Yeah. In between tiny spaces, I'm just adding some ink. This space is almost filled up. Here again, you can add some bold ink sections. Going to aura again. This time take the leaves in. Yes. You just have to continue in the same way. Include whatever you add inside your auras. That's all. The spaces have now reduced. So we can just... Fill up the rest of the space with aura and ink the ends. Again, if you want, you can add an orb. Here, you can add something here again. Probably we'll just go with simple. Ops squeezed in there again almost finish so just aura and close take your time you have to be patient the spaces are small now Very tiny little space, you can comfortably ink. Generally we add ink at the turns. Like this. Yeah, so that's about it. Tiny spaces left here and there. Just go back and add that touch of ink. And I think we are done. Let us now add some shading. Yes. So I'm going to add shading here. We don't need to add on the graphite. Uh, I'm sorry, on the blacks. Just add wherever you have white sections. Slowly blend the graphite. I'm going to add some graphite here inside. Soft circular strokes. Blend it. Just 
Slowly take your time. Yes. And then going next, wherever there is no need to shade this much, but you can add touches to these bigger sections that we created in between. So just adding slight graphite on those sections. Make sure you don't add too much. The whites should also be visible. Adding touches. Take your time. Don't haste up, giving slight touches wherever I can. Wherever lines are dipping, there is a dip. You can add some bit of touches of graphite. I'm not adding anything extra I'm just using what is already there on my stub yes and then I'm going to add some bit of stippling or dots in here Just to re-emphasize my shading a little more, adding some fine dots at the ends which can be extended in between my squid also. Or you can add very tiny orbs which are a part of the tangled squid, small little orbs tipple there. I'm instead adding these tiny dots. And that's it. I don't think we need to add anything else. If you want, you can also add a dash of color here. Yes or you can leave it as such. I'm going to leave it as such and close my tile. Put in your chop sitting cozily somewhere. Always sign and date your tile. Yes, so that's our tile for today this session i'm going to see you again in the next session with one more interesting idea till then have a good time bye bye